This video is just a quick update on the correct way to install hardboard, cement board, or tile board, one or the other. This is cement board with a mesh net, Portland cement, very hard board. Get that at the big box store, or you can use uh, the other product, which is fiberboard also. Either way, it doesn't matter, okay? This particular shower, as you can see, there's a pebble floor already installed. Okay, a little wet because we had to test our new diverter here. All right, in a prior video, if you look on my channel, you'll see the vapor barrier behind this, which you can still see here, six mil poly. Now what I can tell you is when you do this, buy the screws that are meant for it. You'll see it's a star, star screw. Okay, but moreover and better yet, there's a chamfer on the end of it that cuts into the cement board, which allows you to recess them flush. First good rule of thumb, always two on your top. Okay, terminating two where your seam is, two to three on the infill, two to three on the infill, catch your ends. Now here's what we have. We have a standard 60 inch shower alcove. Was a tub in here at one point. So here's what I could tell you. Uh, pebble floor is installed. Yeah, I don't mind the water. No grout. Okay. When you set this cement board, see the gap? See the gap? See the gap? That's the key lesson of this video today is the gap. Do not put the cement board in and touch the pad before you do the um, floor. Do not let the cement board come down and touch the floor. It'll suck up like a sponge. You'll have no control over it. Two, three years, this will be septic. You'll be ripping out two foot of this all the way around, plus the wet bed floor. So this is the correct way to do it, okay? Some guys go a half inch, some go an inch. I go according to what kind of tile I have. I have better than eight inch tile going in here, okay? But I like to maintain about an inch, okay? You can see the wet bed underneath of it, the liner. All right, it's all designed to capture moisture. It's all designed to keep that from uh, rotting. So basic measurements here, easy. That's 60 across, we know that. And we have a net opening of 60, which is real nice. So we don't have to cut that backboard, except for its top, okay? I always maintain half inch off the ceiling. Okay, your diverter, just enough to clear everything there. You wanna be able to get the screws in the trim kit later on. This is always unique and I always get aggravated with this. No matter why the door is set the way the door is set, the bedroom wall behind me with plenty of wall space. I think the builder could have originally pushed this another four inches to the right. Why they crowd it like that, I don't know. Okay? So our only issue there is we just have to cope our casing the way it was before. All right, we're gonna be running bullnose all the way up here anyway. All right, so back to this. Anywhere, two screws, two at your ends, two at your ends. You want to make sure that you have a complete six, seven screws inside of each one. All right, and that'll keep you out of trouble. Remember, there's a lot of mud. There's a lot of weight going up on this. Okay, so this is one board light. It's not very light, it's pretty heavy. So if you like the video, this is just a quick update for you. Subscribe to my channel. There's about 60 plus videos on there. There's other ones in there regarding how to start tile, how to set tile, do's and don'ts. There's also more wet bed liner videos on there. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching and, uh, one of my videos. Bye now.